Obi-Wan never told you what happened to your father. He told me enough. He told me you killed him. No. I am your father. Useless to resist. Don't let yourself be destroyed as Obi-Wan did. <laughs> Luke, when he's on the floor when fighting Vader, tenses his mouth before fighting back. Now this is a survival mechanism and in caveman times would help improve our chances of survival when fighting a predator. In the simplest of terms, when we're angry and our faces tense up, they show our attacker that we mean business and are willing to put up a fight. We aren't being submissive and looking away, we tense our face showing extreme anger and rage, which helps us scare off a would-be attacker. It's why we feel intimidated by people who are angry. This is also part of the fight response. When we're under attack, our brain chooses one of three responses. These are fight, flight and freeze, with freeze being the most common. Luke is clearly exhibiting the fight response. He's challenging the stressor head on and not acting submissive, trying to de-escalate the situation. There is no escape. Don't make me destroy you. Luke, you do not yet realize your importance. You have only begun to discover your power. Join me and I will complete your training. So Vader's now doing open body language. He's able to expose his vitals, the area of the body most vulnerable to attack, showing that he doesn't fear Luke in the slightest. Even when a stressor has been dealt with, it takes time for us to be confident again and certainly wouldn't cause us to put our guard down moments after beating a stressor. Thus, we can tell that Vader never once felt afraid or threatened by Luke. He then does open body language with his hands, gesturing toward Luke. When people gesture, especially when it's out of their baseline behavior, as it is with Vader, it means that he's almost desperate for Luke to understand him. We only gesture like this when we really want someone to agree with us, and shows that Vader cares about Luke. He's desperate to join up with him. With our combined strength, we can end this destructive conflict and bring order to the galaxy. I'll never join you! If you only knew the power of the dark side. Luke raises his left eyebrow, which is typically a sign of doubt. This is also a micro expression. It happens briefly and then is suppressed by Luke. Micro expressions are short, non-verbal cues that reveal our true thoughts and feelings. They are instantly suppressed by the conscious, which is why they happen for such a brief amount of time. Now, I'm not one of those body language analysts who pulls conclusions from their behind. I'm always frank with you. This could mean that maybe inside Luke is having doubts about whether or not he'll join Vader. Or it could just be that he's in doubt that he'll make it out alive from this situation. He's clearly already planning to jump as he can't get past Vader. So he's probably in doubt of his chances of survival. Take your pick. Vader then continues to do open body language, clenching his fist, which is a universal sign of anger. I think this is him venting his frustration and anger at the Emperor. His plan is, after all, to team up with Luke and then kill the Emperor. The clenched fist likely reveals Vader's incredibly strong desire to get rid of Palpatine, not actually to take the power for himself. Obi-Wan never told you what happened to your father. He told me enough. Luke then fidgets with his hand, which is called a pacifying behavior. We stimulate our nerve endings by touching to distract our brains from the stressor, which in turn releases stress. So Luke fidgets with his hand as he's incredibly stressed, likely due to Vader, but more probably because his hand's just been cut off. If you see people fidgeting in any situation, it's likely a sign that they're experiencing stress for some reason, perhaps anxiety or that they're in pain. No. I am your father. No. No. It's not true. 
through. That's impossible! Vader does a subtle nod with his head, telling Luke he's his father. This is to affirm what he's saying. We subconsciously do this to stress the importance of a point. It shows that Vader really wants to convince Luke of what he's saying. Luke then slightly tenses his eye and blinks differently than usual. The eye tensing is a sign of confusion and doubt. He's clearly processing what Vader has said and not denying it. The head shakes he does are caused by the conscious and don't line up with his actual body language. If he didn't think that Vader was his father, he wouldn't be tensing his eyes or changing how he blinks. He knows what Vader said was true and he's in denial. The blink could be taken as a distancing behaviour, basically the way our brain tries to put distance between itself and a stressor. He's trying to get away from Vader, or a pacifying behaviour. He's trying to release stress from blinking, but he doesn't blink any more rapidly than usual, so it's probably not that. He also tenses his lip. This is the way we try and combat a pacifying behaviour. His lip is trying to quiver, which is to help pacify him and release the stress, but he consciously combats it. It, which makes it a micro expression. It happens super briefly. This again shows the immense stress he's going through. He then tenses his mouth again, which is the same thing. He's trying to combat the stress. Stretch your feelings, you know it to be true. Vader leans in, lowering himself slightly. He's trying to appear on Luke's level to sympathize with him. This could show that Vader sees Luke as the same status as him, as he's trying all he can to convince him, even lowering his posture to help. He exposes his vitals and lowers his posture, showing that he's trying to make Luke feel better, which is a very strange thing to see Vader do. Luke then continues to shoot micro expressions, showing immense stress. He also lowers his head downward, which is another distancing behavior. He's trying to get away from the stress of the situation by diverting his eye contact. Again, the moment Vader speaks of the Emperor, he clenches his fist which is a strong sign of anger. This all the more makes me think that Vader is desperate to kill the Emperor and remove him from power. He's trying so hard to get Luke to join him so that he can do just that. Luke again distances with his eyes. This time I think he's reflecting on what Vader is saying. He's actually debating whether or not he wants to join him and stop the Emperor. Join me and together we can rule the galaxy as father and son. Again, from the tone of his voice, all Vader is feeling is hatred for the Emperor. The way he moves is full of rage. This scene really does show how desperate Vader is to kill the Emperor. The moment he mentions him, he becomes full of rage and anger. I'm not entirely sure if at this point in the movie he actually cares about Luke, rather he's simply using him as a way to get revenge on Palpatine. I will have to look at more scenes to determine this. Overall, this is a really good scene, and both Luke and Vader reveal so much with their body language. Luke shows so many signs of reflection when talking with Vader. He considers Vader's proposition briefly and entertains the idea of ruling the galaxy with him. Vader shows with his non-verbal cues that he's desperately trying to convince Luke to join him, even lowering his posture to convince him, which is a very uncommon thing for a high-status person like Vader to do. Non-verbals are on point here. So thank you so much for watching this video guys, if you did enjoy it, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more content and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.